Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a spice dealer caught with thousands of pounds in cash and texted a pal and bragged I'm not trying to be rich for a night, I'm trying to be rich for life. Shaquille Bell, 24, has been jailed for seven years after a judge said he was leading player in the supply of large quantities of the drug. Mr. Bell was found to have made extravagant purchases from the proceeds of his dealings. Officers found an Armani watch, a Louis Vuitton bag, a pair of Christian Louboutin trainers, a Hugo Boss tracksuit and a receipt for purchases at Harvey Nichols totaling £1,645. Thousands of pounds in cash was also recovered, some of which was found in Hugo Boss and Tommy Hilfiger bags. Manchester Crown Court heard that the police executed a warrant at Mr. Bell's mother's home in Moss Side. When officers arrived, Mr. Bell jumped out of the window and hid in a nearby garden. After refusing to move, he was tasered and arrested. In the house, police found just under £5,000 worth of spice and heroin. Also recovered was paraphernalia, including snap bags and three mobile phones. Mr. Bell appeared before magistrates and was bailed. Just two days later, Mr. Bell was caught red-handed again with drugs and cash. Police raided a flat Mr. Bell had rented on Block Frere's Road in Salford. Three officers found spice worth between £6,300 and £7,900, as well as six mobile phones and almost £3,000 in cash, some of which were stored in Hugo Boss and Tommy Hilfiger bags. They also found a taser, which under further analysis was found not to be in working order. Mr. Bell had recently been released from a three-year sentence in a young offender's institution for the supply of cocaine and heroin. Sentencing, Judge Anthony Cross QC said he was satisfied that Mr. Bell was a leader player in the supply of large quantities of the drug known as spice into his city. He said Mr. Bell's dealing was born out of greed and determination to enrich his own personal life. Addressing Mr. Bell, the judge said your customers were taking the drugs to remove them from reality of their daily lives. You though were seeking to enrich yourself, you were in it for the money. Visitors to the city putting their pound coins or notes into the cups of people begging for money, you knew that their hard earned money would find its way into your pockets. You were taking advantage of those members of the public. They would be better advised to give to charity. In that way, the scourge of the drug dealers might be removed from these streets. Mr. Bell of Leslie Street, Moss Side, pleaded guilty to two counts of possession with intent to supply spice, one count of possession with intent to supply heroin, and one count of possessing a prohibited weapon. So what are your thoughts about Shaquille Bell and how he went about selling high quantities of spice and heroin to become rich? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.